Hi, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do self-portrait. Um, for starters, I'd like to go over what is required, what equipment is required to do a self-portrait. The most important piece of equipment is a camera. I'm going to be using a DSLR today, but you can do your self-portrait with a point-and-shoot camera or even a phone. I know on the iPhone, the Camera Plus app actually lets you set a timer. You just need to make sure that you can set either a timer or use a remote shutter release it's like to take your picture. You also need a tripod or another place to place your camera. That could be a countertop, a tabletop, um, absolute worst case scenario, your friend's hands. One of the hardest things people find when taking a self-portrait is getting the focus right. To do the focus, and I'm sorry, but my son is getting bit by mosquitoes <laughs> right now. To do the focus, I like to use an object to focus on. Today I'm using a light stand. Another option is extra tripods. You can use a doll, a chair. You can use a tree or object that naturally occurs. You just want to make sure you're in that same plane as your camera has focused on to get the focus. Over here I have my camera. And I'm going to get the focus. And then once I have the focus, I'm going to set it to manual. Now, if you have a camera that won't set to manual, such as an iPhone or a um, point and shoot camera, then you just need to be really careful about what you do because it could change the focus point. Okay, so I've got my focus set and I've got my exposure set and now I'm going to take the picture. I like to use a remote shutter release. They're pretty inexpensive, but you can also use the timer that comes with your camera. Um, most DSLRs have a timer. Most point and shoots have a timer. Um, even certain apps for phones such as Camera Plus on the iPhone allows you to set a timer. 5, 15, or 30 seconds. I'm going to walk over to my object that I focused on and I'm going to stand in its place and I'm just going to push it out of the way. Then I'm going to use my remote shutter release, which sometimes is tricky, and I'm going to take the picture. Okay, now that the picture's taken, I would just come back and I would check to make sure I like what I have. Usually if I'm using a remote shutter release, I'll take several pictures with several poses and expressions. If it's a timer, there's no choice, you're going to have to run back and forth. Make sure you have a marker to mark your space. 